to another video. I am Debbie. In today's video, I have three different types of diamond art, and this is from Diamond Art Gift. Thanks so much to Diamond Art Gift for sending this to me in exchange for a review. I really do appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to move this two over. Let's do this one first. I'm take it out of its little bag. Roll it backwards. See if this is going to help. I'm not so sure. This one's really stiff. Let's see. Ooh. Let me see. You can obviously see it's a Christmas tree. It is a partial, I believe. Let me see if I can ever get this rolled back. Okay, that's about as good as this one's going to get. And um, when you see like the little ripples and ridges, this is just from the plastic. It is not from the actual canvas. The canvas is really good and sticky. I can probably roll this, raise this up some. It's not really going to help that much. This is going to have to lay flat for a while on or under a book or a mattress. And I don't know when I'm going to get to it, if I'm even going to get to it this year. So I am fine with that. Um, it's a Christmas tree, 30 by 40 centimeters, and it only has 10 colors. And there are some specials in here. These are all specials, actually. I think they're all rhinestones. In this kit, um, we do get a green boat, a plate of wax, we get a single placer, and there are some tweezers. These tweezers are the plastic tweezers, and they're not the greatest. They're not going to hurt you. It's like you're using plastic utensils is what this is, but it can come in handy. I don't use them, but it can come in handy if you do. With these, I'll go ahead and open, since it's only 10 colors, and I keep these smaller ones separate from the drills anyway. So it's no big deal trying to get these back in. And we have a gorgeous silver. Let me get to the end of this. This is silver crystals. Almost looks blue on the screen here. And we have more silver there. Then we have green. Another bag of the green. This is more of a hunter green here. And these are like special pearls. And then we have the little raindrops, and that's in silver. And more of those. We have gold rhinestones. Some more silver. We got silver rhinestones. And then some purple. So I do like this. I like that it's small. It, um, the 30 by 40 is going to be the entire canvas. It is not going to be the parts that you're going to diamond paint. Um, there's quite a bit on here to diamond paint, even though it doesn't look that way because all the greenery and everything in here, all of the ornaments, those are all going to have um, different drills on them. But I thought this would be really cute just in case that I do run out and need um, something else to do Christmas-wise. But um, I just thought that was really cute, very sweet. And if I don't do it, I can always do it later. I also, I'm going to put this over to the side so I can keep everything together. Oh, and I did not mention that on this, there is a number. It is a serial number, which on here, it is KA487. And so that corresponds with your drill package. And each one of these has KA487. That's really hard to see, but it's on here. And so if you keep your drills separate from your canvas, then you are able to find them rather easily. And here is what the thumbnail looks like. These do not come with sticker sheets. So I will just copy the schematic that's over here on the left side and then I will scan it into my computer and then I will print those on some sticker paper. So there's that one. The next one is one that my daughter picked out. She likes these little small ones. And so this one 
is another bookmark. It is a Santa bookmark. There's just a few to do on there. Um, it, the, the sticky, the, the glue is only on the part that you are actually going to diamond paint. And then it comes with a purple tassel. You also get the same toolkit. And then we have just a few little colors here. And on this one, because it's a bookmark, it doesn't say anything on the back. So you just have to know what your drills are or where you're going to keep them. I will mark mine. But the colors are very similar to the other ones. You have this ruby red. All of these are going to be rhinestones. This one's yellow. You have some gold there. Kind of a goldish brown. And you have gold, yellow gold there. More red. There's some black that's in there. And then that's not a special. That's just a regular drill. You have all of these are specials and you have one that are regular. That's kind of strange. And then you have this other darker brown. So that will be cute. That's something that she wants to do. So I'm going to put that over the side there. Then I have one more. And she also picked this one out. So I thought that would be really cute. These are a little different. Um, I'm going to open this up. This is a different kind of kit. We haven't done one of these before. And something that she thought would be fun. These are little ornaments. I don't even know how many are in here. But they are gnome ornaments. And she has a little tree that she's going to, that they're decorating at school and they need some ornaments. And so she wants to take these to school. She wants to have all of her friends to diamond paint these and put them on their little tree at school. And I asked her teacher, would, would gnomes be okay? He said it was fine. So they're cute, they're small. And so kids in her, well, I shouldn't say kids, young adults that are in her class, her transition program can do something like this. They enjoy something that's really small, that doesn't take very long, not much concentration, and is really easy to do. So you will just diamond paint those. And then, you also have the same toolkit. I'm going to supply extra toolkits for the school. And then they give you this little ribbon. It's more like rope. And you will just put those on there and make that into your little ornament. But I'm not sure. I'm trying to see how this comes off or how this works exactly. Because this looks like this is just plastic on here. I'll have to look at that and see. I don't know how this is just going to stick on here because this is just hard plastic. I don't see where this is a cover or if it comes off. It has to, but I will look at that later, but I think that will be really sweet. And then it comes with the same colors I just showed you on all the others. There's not any difference, just reds and greens. But I thought this would be really cute for them. It's not expensive and it will give them something to do during their art time. And they can also even add additional colors if they want to. Sometimes they'll do that. I have done some bookmarks for all of them. I'm going to start collecting bookmarks um, for their class for next year. Because my daughter's last class will be in May in transition. And she wants to give everybody in the two classes that she goes back and forth with for transition. She wants to give all of her friends a bookmark. So we're gonna start working on that once um, once we calm down from the holidays. But this is what we've gotten. We have this cute tree, and she may even do that one. We have this lovely bookmark of Santa, and then we have these gnome ornaments. So very cute. And thanks again to Diamond Art Gift for sending this to me. I really do appreciate it. They have really good quality and they are a discount company. So you may want to check them out if you're looking for maybe some stocking stuffers or something that you'd like to give to someone that may not be familiar with diamond painting. It's a great way to start. 
If you like this video, please click on the like button as well as subscribe if you have not already done so. So that way you will be alerted on future content. And until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye. This time.